Cars raced up Knox Mountain at remarkable speeds this past weekend in Kelowna, but for the first time in 50 years, an electric vehicle competed in what is the longest running hill climb event in North America. UBC engineering students redesigned the 1984 Formula Ford 2000 class race car, and thanks to cash contributions plus donated materials, the total cost of the project was around $40,000 to $45,000, a shoestring budget for the university. Mike Marich took to the driver's seat for the race and while he placed 48th overall with a time of 2 minutes 17.098 seconds, it was still the first time an electric car has ever raced up the 800-foot climb. We're happy that we actually finished uh, a run up that mountain for starters. You know, we uh, did the first one, um, we realized it was a bit, quite a bit slower than we wished. Um, and then the team kept making changes to the vehicle in order to make it faster. Um, so the times uh, overall ended up somewhere where we were happy enough. Um, we think that there's uh, still a lot of room for improvement. Uh, but given where we were and given where other vehicles were, I think we're really happy and we, we made the statement that we wanted to with the time. 64 cars were registered to race in the event, but only 62 cars started, including the UBC electric car, which completed five out of seven runs. The engineering students gained lots of feedback and exposure during the race, but it's unclear at this time if they will be back next year. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.